Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark and um, this is in response to a comment I got from one of my subscribers. I don't know his name is, it's Fix It Stupid, which I don't know if he's asking us to make it stupid or if he's telling somebody stupid to fix it, but anyways, he asked me to read this book that I had in my video to read it out loud called Population Control Through Nuclear Pollution and I think that's really an excellent idea uh, especially considering we live in a culture where people aren't even freaked out about nuclear contamination, nuclear pollution they're, they're like whatever Fukushima is almost four years, can you believe it? four years it has not been stopped, it's unprecedented, the neglect the gross negligence and and the complicity with the from the scientific community that is I mean I know that Kevin Blanche was really flipped out about Orny Gunderson and all the other kind of softball people who haven't really been freaking out but when we look at any of the results that are coming out like recently that study said that new Fukushima is going to peak in 2015 that's an impossibility if you're listening to the news because the contamination hasn't peaked. Uh, TEPCO basically very recently has said that they're just going to continue to pour contaminated water at higher levels into the Pacific Ocean. So how could it possibly peak unless they know that we're completely saturated and they're just doing the usual 90% rule and just not telling us anything at all and just going to watch us all drop off like fucking flies. Which brings me back to this book, Population Control Through Nuclear Pollution by John Goffman and Arthur Tamplin, who I don't know who that is, so I'm going to have to do some work. Um, I'm not going to read the foreword. I am going to read the preface because that's written by them, but I don't like to read other people's summations of a book. I think it sidetracks us. So I'm going to read the preface, and I'm going to make these readings. I am going to read this book, and um, I'm going to make an effort to keep each video at five to six minutes. And if it seems appropriate, maybe longer than that. But I, personally, I don't know about you, but I pretty much burn out after five minutes of listening to somebody blab. Preface. Men must solve the environmental crisis which threatens our planet. We are optimistic that this can be accomplished, provided men know the dimensions of the problem they face. The first step is to understand how we have arrived at the present sorry state of affairs. Then we must appreciate the dynamic which operates against solution of the environmental crisis. Hmm. Finally, we can come to grips with the procedures that can lead us out of the morass that has been created. Maybe I should say that again. The first step is to understand how we have arrived at the very pre at the present sorry state of affairs. Then we must appreciate the dynamic which operates against which operates against solution of the environmental crisis. Finally, we can come to grips with procedures that can lead us out of the morass that has been created. Much of this book deals with atomic technology and its associated irreversible nuclear pollution of the planet. In large measure, this emphasis is the result of our personal experiences. We learned about the nature of the environmental crisis through our own experiences in endeavoring to protect the public health with respect to nuclear pollution. The lessons to be learned from nuclear pollution are general lessons applicable with equal force to every aspect of the environmental crisis generated by modern science and technology. We are indeed hopeful that our experiences and observations may lead to constructive solutions of the critical environmental problems facing the human species. Arthur A. Tamplin, John W. Goffman Chapter 1. Why? Maybe I should read it like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but 
I'm just going to read it. How much time we got? Five minutes. Actually, I think I'll stop here and I'll do another one for five minutes. So that is called the preface and the introduction to the book. So there you go. Fix it, stupid. Ciao, brother.